So with the biological teleportation, which is life at the speed of light, we have two different parts to it. We have the ascending unit, which can actually read the genetic code of something, send it up to the cloud. And then the second part is the receiving unit that we call a digital biological converter. Uh, some like to call a replicator, uh, depending on where in science fiction history we're coming from. Uh, and it takes the digital code, rewrites the genetic code chemically, and then once you have uh, genomes built from the DNA, you can go in any direction. This got a real world test recently with the outbreak of H7N9 flu in China. Uh, a team of Chinese scientists isolated uh, the virus from the patient, sequenced it, and posted it uh, on the internet. And at the request of the U.S. government, we downloaded it and then less than 12 hours synthesized the H79 uh, virus, which for a long time was the only source that the CDC and the U.S. government and Novartis had of uh, this new emerging strain. Right now from our process, uh, there's actually been a uh, flu vaccine being developed for the first time ahead of time of a new potentially very dangerous strain. So the notion I describe in my book is that one day uh, everybody will have one of these little devices on their home computer uh, and we can stop uh, pandemics before they start because in areas where there's outbreaks, uh, you just download the vaccine uh, and vaccinate people very quickly and we can stop the spread of things. But we have a long way to go to, uh, to achieve those levels. But these devices are real now. Uh, we have built the prototypes and uh, they're in actual use.